But uh, I'm going to go ahead here and add uh, a specific filter. I'm going to add from the correct selected category, um, for colors and blurs, the correct selected. I'm going to throw this on this clip, and before I do anything inside of Boris's tools here, I want to point out something. Uh, ever since I think it was BCC4 and forward, you've got a button right at the top to launch a help file to tell you exactly how this plugin works. It's one of the little things that I wish people would do a little, just a little bit more is read just a hair's worth of the way these tools work. This help file has really saved me a bunch of times when I've been exploring uh, the way a new filter works. The other thing I'll tell you is if you have a really old version of BCC, it would be the upper corner, the same, sort of the same way you open up an existing title. So what I want to do here is uh, on this shot, I'm going to use correct selected, and I just really want to fix this background. So this shot is fairly flat. This girl doesn't pop very much off the background. And what I would like to do beyond just color correcting, because Media Composer's got an excellent color corrector, is work with just the water. And the water is really something I can identify because it's darker, and it's got that sort of blue look to it. As I walk my way down the effect, you'll see the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the first adjustment I can make, which is the color, and I'm just going to sample that water. Now, in sampling that water, it's going to build a mat. A mat's a black and white file that tells where the effect should take place and where it shouldn't. You'll see here under View Output, I can see that mat. And you'll see it looks pretty good. I'm just going to increase the color range here a little bit. It's going to sample more colors away from my original color. Let's look back here at the output. So I'm now able to control and adjust just this background area, just this blue. And I'm going to start with adjusting the brightness. Now I'm going to do the first one here, the brightness on the actual effect. Here's me taking the brightness. I'm just going to lift this to make that background a little bit brighter. And I'm going to go ahead here and take the contrast. And the contrast is going to make the blacks darker and the whites brighter. And as I do this, it's going to begin to get her to pop off that background. Now you'll notice that there's some controls on here that are adjusting. I can adjust the contrast further manually on screen. I find that this is one of the big new features in the later versions of the BCC effects. It really makes it a little bit easier for me to sit and play directly on screen rather than having to search through straight down through the AVID parameters. Now that I've sat back and I've got this looking okay, I'm going to adjust the hue. I'm going to adjust the hue a little bit to the left. It's going to make everything a little bit more green. My last name is Greenberg, and a running joke uh, I have is the uh, right answer is always green, and if you're unsure, if I ask you, green is the right answer. So we're going to go ahead and make that a little bit more green, and the last thing I do want to do is pop the saturations. I'm just going to take this and lift those saturations just a little bit to make this a little bit more green. There we go, green, 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 like that. I'm just going to lighten up and really give that a little bit more color. So this idea here that I'm able to separate this, I'm able to use a secondary, isolating a color is something that the correct selected plugin gives me, and it's just something I can't live without on a media composer. Now, there's just a little bit more I want to do with this shot, and I want to come back here to that mat that I just showed you. Now, see in this mat, it's got a little bit of rough edges. Pretty much any time I build a mat, I blur that mat just a little bit, it softens those edges out. But I kind of like the water, the color of that water, that green, to spill over on her a little bit. And that's where I'm just going to blend the mat a little bit more. And you're going to see, as I take that mat number up, it's going to be affecting her glasses and the brighter areas. And I'll just affect it a little bit so it's just giving a little color to her arms. And let's go ahead here and see that output. So here's where I started. And I'd like you to see at the top there's a bypass. This is something I use with color correction a lot. I like to turn off and back on that filter. And since this is color based, as she moves, this will track with her background without a problem. Let's see another example of this. Another example is I kind of would like to get those yellows. This is a standard def clip here. I'd like to get those yellows isolated. And you can see the sort of the output of what I'm doing. I'm going to go here and take the correct selected. In this case, I'm going to auto nest. So I put it on top of the existing Avid clip. I'm going to choose here that color. I'm going to choose that yellow again. And again, I'll look at the mat. 
that mat looks pretty good. Again, I'll put a little bit of blur into the mat. A really neat technique the color correctors use is instead of necessarily looking at the mat, they'll desaturate stuff. I'm going to go ahead here and take the saturation all the way out. And as I take the saturation out, you can see I've pretty much got all of the cab. I got a little of the yellow, not there. I'm going to just put a little bit more blend into it. Get a little bit more of those yellows. Get a little bit of the color range. There we go. Now, what we've done here is I've selected the taxi cab. I've got a really good looking desaturated item to help me see without having to switch over to the mat. As you notice down these controls, notice the most important controls for the mat are all together. And these controls underneath, these are the ones that are affecting the picture. Between the two, I've got a switch here called reverse color range. And right there you can see we've got these nice yellows going on. We've got these, the, the cabs isolated. So we're seeing the yellow of the cabs. And this is a great technique. This is that same technique they used for Schindler's List. It's this idea of isolation. So these were two great little effects I did using the correct selected plugin, and it's part of the BCC Color and Blurs group.